we present a system for editing polygonal meshes collaboratively. In the following video, we show the screen capture from two users' laptops, where we color edit from user A in green and edits from user B in blue. We adopt a version control model where multiple users can concurrently edit a mesh by working on their own individual branches. Collaboration is established by sharing a master branch that maintains the agreed upon version of the model. Note how the edits of each user are applied and appear in the other user's screen capture. Multiple artists collaborate in real time by continuously merging their editing histories. Note how edits are mirrored continuously. We adopt a distributed version control model that makes this collaborative workflow fast and scalable. We propose merge algorithms that support real-time collaboration by efficiently merge the primitive operations that led to different mesh versions. We robustly detect whether two different mesh versions are in conflict by checking if the low-level operations that led to each version act on mesh elements that are deleted or modified on the other version. For example, extrusion made by user A on top of spaceship is in conflict with the loop cut made by user B. We resolve the conflict automatically by disabling all operations in the user branch that are in conflict with operations in the master branch. New users can join and leave the modeling session at any time. Here we show the model being completed. We tested our prototype by collaboratively modeling various objects from scratch. Colors indicate users, green for user A, blue for user B, cyan for both. We tested our algorithm scalability by modeling large existing meshes. We also present an extension to our collaborative framework where artists adapt other editing histories by retargeting sequences of editing operations to a new part of the mesh. Colors encodes the mapping between mesh elements of the original selection and the ones of the new selection. We adapt a sequence by letting users specify a correspondence between the mesh elements of the original selection and the ones of the new selection. We then automatically apply the operations by propagating the mapping along the editing sequence. Here we show the template operation applied to the new selection. Please refer to the paper for details.